I'm Nader Aldoy, and today I'm going to talk about our approach of classification of prostate cancer based on multiparametric MR images using convolutional neural network. First of all, methods of diagnosis. We have multiple methods of diagnosis and screening of prostate cancer. We have uh, prostate-specific antigen. We have the digital rectal examination. And then we have further on the biopsy to check the severity of the cancer. And also we have a, a very great contender, which is multiparametric MR, based on the MR images of multiple sequences. So our study aim is basically trying to directly process the MR sequences without any prior segmentation of the lesions. We are aiming at automatic classification of prostate lesions, and we kind of aiming also at uh, testing the contribution of different MR sequences to the overall performance of our deep learning approach. The data set that we are using is publicly available data set. It's called Prostate X from Prostate X Challenge. It consists of around 200 patients, and it contains up to 318 lesions. At least those are the lesions that we included in our study. So multiparametric MRI in, in just the abstract scheme of our approach, we have multi-sequences of MR, and then we have our deep learning approach, and we are aiming at the prediction of cancer or no cancer. So the MR sequences that we are using, we use different combination of sequences of different combination of groups. So group number one contains all the sequences that we have in the data set. In the group number two, we eliminated T2. In the group number three, we eliminated K trans. And then we eliminated a, a DWI and ADC in the last group. And we tested all of them in eight-fold cross-validation with our deep learning approach. If we speak about the results, we can see that um, ADC, DWI, K-trans combination achieves the best in terms of AUC, average AUC, among all the, um, among all the uh, eight, eight-fold cross-validations. T, T2, when we added T2, it didn't add any valuable information to the overall combinations. When we um, delete, deleted ADC and DWI, we kind of dropped the, uh, uh, the performance. And then when we deleted K-trans, it dropped drastically. Here we can see details, more details about the best model, which is ADC, best combination, which is ADC, DWI, and K-trans. And here the eight-fold eight, uh, cross-validations, as you can see here in this graph, it ranges between 90% uh, and 84 or 85. And here we can see in this graph the accuracy along the training, the number of iterations here for testing and um, a training as well. So here it's the correctly predicted lesions. If we conclude something from the study, we can conclude that neural networks are promising tools for automatic prostate cancer classification. They can deal directly with 3D images without slice selection or lesion segmentations. And we can also conclude that K-trans carries the most useful information about the lesion and about the characteristics of the, of the tumor, if it's cancer or no cancer. And then we have achieved actually comparable performance to the experienced radiologist in terms of AUC, sensitivity, and specificity. We achieved almost higher values in AUC, uh, higher values in specificity, and comparable values in sensitivity. With that, I would like to thank you all for your attention.